hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another weekly check-in i will be checking in for the week of may 16th until the 22nd and we're just gonna jump right in we're starting off with gas which i have a little explaining to do if you've been watching my videos throughout last week you would have heard that i started working uber eats which since it was my first week, obviously I did not have any money invested per se um, going into it. So we're just going to write down my um, gas expenses and then I'm going to explain like my plan, I guess, and also kind of, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like basically how i'm seeing this in my head so i did get gas three times these two 25 dollars each were technically for uber eats and then the last one was just personal because um i went to a wedding on saturday that was like a two hour drive and i drove there and back obviously so I knew I needed gas and I didn't want to be like struggling to get there or risking like not having gas. So I just went ahead and put $40 in my tank, which is almost gone. But that's because I drove like I'm pretty sure over 100 miles. So anyways, that's that. That one is fine. These two were for Uber Eats. So like I said before, this was my first week, so obviously I went into it with no money, like, I'm not no money, but like no money invested in Uber Eats. I don't know if this makes sense, but basically my plan is with my Uber Eats money to take out the percentage for taxes, as always, for all my income that is not taxed, and then I'm not sure yet if I'm going to take out a percentage for gas or just a flat rate for gas but I do plan to take some of that income out for gas specifically and then taxes and then the leftover is going to be put into my moving out fund so I hope that makes sense so basically this week we're just not going to worry about it because it is what it is but I do get paid today from Uber Eats and then they pay on Mondays so that's the plan obviously it's my first time working this so i will keep you guys updated with how it ends up going and you'll hear me talk about it more in my cash stuffings if you're interested um but that as of right now is my plan so let me know if you guys work any kind of delivery service and if you have any um like ideas or advice of what to do because i think that's probably my best bet is to just obligate a percentage or a flat rate amount going towards gas because that's obviously part of it and then when tax season comes that'll obviously be a write-off anyways so that's that but yes that's where my head's at right now i'm writing down my food expenses which i had two one for Chick-fil-A on Wednesday and then one for Del Taco on Thursday. So we'll put that there. And then for groceries, I did spend $6 at Walmart. So 6 14 walmart and this was last night on sunday the 22nd so there's that and then lastly i have one treat transaction which was from 7-eleven um george and i went to crumble and then we went to 7-eleven to get um drinks 
so I paid for that, which was four dollars. Let's pray I can get this sticker up because we all know I've been struggling with this sheet. So give me a second. There we go. Maybe. You guys are probably like, girl, get it together. I'm trying my best. There we go, sorry. I know that probably felt like an eternity for you, but this was on Tuesday. And that was all of my expenses. So I'm gonna go through and put down some no spends, which were Monday and Friday. So Monday and Friday. And then I do have payday stickers, which I only have five, so I'm just gonna go through and put down this week. So we had the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, I think, yeah. So 17th was Etsy. The 18th was actually uber eats because i cashed out early because i thought i wanted to put that money into my envelope on friday but i actually didn't end up doing that so you're going to see me stuff my entire first week of uber eats this coming friday um but disregard that then thursday i got paid for making some stickers and friday i got paid for babysitting so we love to see four paydays in one week. This week, I'm getting paid today from YouTube, Uber Eats, tomorrow, Etsy, then babysitting probably Thursday or Friday. So, we love to see it. We're really out here trying to make as much money as we can. So, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and flip to my weekly check-in page so we can see our numbers, which again gas i'm at this point i'm just not even gonna worry about it and then next month we will see how the budget goes and kind of go from there but we did spend 90 dollars on gas this week so i'm over by 40 technically let me grab my red pen maybe So we're over by 40. And then for fun, I did not spend anything. Violet's snoring also, so good morning, Violet, or good night, because she just knocked out. Um, and then for food, I need my calculator. We had. 1055 plus 743. That's 1798. 1798. And we had 4755. So 2957. 2957. Groceries we spent. 614. So 44.98 minus 614 is 38.84. 38.84. And then lastly, treats, we spent four. We had 12, so that's eight. 
30 remaining. And those are our numbers for the week. Let's go ahead and walk through everything else. So we're gonna start with income. I already explained all of these, but there they are listed. Violet is really snoring. I didn't have anything for my sinking funds transactions or supply transactions. Violet, ma'am, she doesn't care. Um, shipping, I spent $29.55, cents and eighteen fifty this past week. And then for YouTube, I did not have anything. But I do plan to add a Uber Eats mileage tracker because this whole book is mainly for my taxes and to help me out. I just share it with you guys because you guys love to see it and I think it might be helpful for some people or just interesting. Um, but for tax purposes, I do need to keep track of my mileage. So luckily, I do have two extra pages each month in my budget planner. So I will most likely be adding that in. But that brings us to the end of this week's check-in. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, again, let me know if you have any suggestions for the whole gas situation. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I'm making a good amount and I know I can put a portion of that income to gas to cover it. Um, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.